Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you a technique to help separate and widen your tracks, and it's called complementary EQ. This is really useful for sounds that have been hard panned left and right, especially when like layering things together. For example, this rhythm guitar here, exactly the same track, just copied from the right to the left. Exactly the same, slightly different processing, but the actual same recording. And we're going to put a bit of EQ on it to really help separate it. So this is quite similar to mirror EQ in that we're going to apply essentially the opposite type of EQ from one guitar to the other, but it is slightly different and it's a bit more precise. So here we're just gonna start applying the EQ to our right guitar, so we'll just bring that in solo. We'll also bring it central, so we can hear it a bit easier when we're actually applying the EQ. And we're gonna put a small boost around the 4K area of about of 3 dB, and then apply a small cut just below that of also 3 dB. So we're just gonna move this up to 4K to get started, and we'll have a listen. Put that boost in. and just move it around to see what's the sweet spot. Cool, so that's just bringing out some of that crispness. And now we're gonna put the small cut in just below it. And I'm gonna start at about 2K for this. Make that 3 dB cut, there we go. Cool, so that's sounding all right. We don't want to worry hugely about the massive difference that it's going to make because our left side is going to really make up for that and we want to separate them. Obviously, if it sounds or starts sounding really poor, then yeah, take a few steps back. But it's all very subtle, these changes we're making anyway. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, going to go onto our left channel and paste it and then invert it. So we're going to make that a 3 dB cut says there we go and make that a 3 db boost so now the idea here is between our left and right guitar there's now a 6 db difference in this area you've got a 3 db boost here and a 3 db cut on the other one and the same applies for this so they're going to have that much separating them so let's just hard pan these again and they should sound quite nice and separate So now I'm just going to play it in context with the mix. I've got these tracks down here where that EQ hasn't been applied, but these ones up here where it is, so you can see this is gonna be without, this will be with, and so on, just for a bar of each. So you can hear they're sounding a little more separate from each other. They're filling out that space really quite nicely now. This can of course be applied to anything you want. So if you've got like a pad synth hard pan left and right, using this type of EQ can really bring each of them out quite nicely. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.